Paul Smiles from Primoz Roglic at the beginning of stage four of the Volta Catalunya. Remco Evenepoel, who missed out on taking the jersey, had he not celebrated quite so vociferously at the end of yesterday's win, then maybe he'd be in the lead. Level on time, difference all down to positions. 188.2 kilometres ahead of the field, destination Sabadell today. And this, always destined to be, despite lots of altitude gain, one for the quicker men within the peloton for this race. Big climb out of the back door, La Molina. It's yes, peaking out at 1,795 metres, and it was tempting a breakaway. Had a couple of incarnations of it. The first one went over the top. Five riders involved, and Guillaume Martin it was that took the King of the Mountains jersey competition. He'll wear that jersey tomorrow. Meanwhile, five others, very strong, went up the road. Toss and train from Uno X. We had David de la Cruz from Astana. Nans Peters from AG2R Citroën. Yul Jensen, once again, who was in the break on day two for Jaco Alula. And Roger Adria as well. Chance of success? Moderate, it seems, because the pack wanted to tee this up for what few fast men there are. A lot of work being done by Ineos Grenadiers on behalf of Ethan Hayter. Ultimately, that was their plan. Plan for the breakaway, stay out as long as possible. Just keep them in abeyance and maybe run to town with a gap of half a minute. That would have done with four kilometres to go. But that half minute fell away early. On the descent, two peaks with two very long descents, in fact, to bring us into town. And by the time we had 10 kilometres remaining, the gap was almost bridged. So teams wanted to get themselves into colour order. Lots of Destiny who'd done very little work throughout the day came forward with Milan Menton. Corbin Strong of Israel Premier Tech was always going to be a feature. Venturini, but the big names, Aberastori, Kokar, Groves, Hater, they had a plan. Into town they screamed with four kilometres to go and a technical last couple of kilometres. And for a moment, we thought that Remco Evenepoel may well have the confidence to get involved in the sprint. He was being guarded by Primoz Roglic, however, and in the end, when he came to our final turn, it had to be for the fast men. Graham Kakar determined, but with absolutely no backup, once he had sight of the finish line, when would he light up? The meters were disappearing, there was lots of checks over shoulders, Alps into Koenig were looking lively, there was arguments amongst uh, Bora Hansgro as well. Intermarchy Circus were there with uh, Arnie Marit as well. Finally, it was Corbin Strong that went for it for Israel Premier Tech. He was on the barriers, but who was coming dead centre of the road? Of course, Brian Kokar. He sped out, but on his wheel, Caden Groves got the perfect launch and the perfect throw to make the day his own. Groves taking it ahead of Kokar and, of course, Corbin Strong as well. All that work done by so many. And in the end, it came down to those three for the day's podium. Close at hand was Ida Schelling. That'll go down as a good result for him. But there can only be one winner, and that winner was a fine man. Caelan Groves taking it ahead of Brian Kukar, Corbin Strong, Schelling, Venturini, Van and Dahl, Aberastori, Menton, Marit and Velasco. All that work for Ines Grenadiers came to naught. Leader overall remains Primoz Roglic, but a big climbing day to come. Make sure he finish just in front of Remco Evenepoel, so on positional he stays in that leader's jersey. There'll be more of a challenge, and perhaps even to the dominance of those two in this race, as we start climbing again tomorrow. 176.6 kilometres, but the big test comes right at the end of the day. We head out away from and then back past Tortosa on the opposite bank, then we cut inland, and the road gets devilish, fiendish you might say. Heading for Lowport, but just look at this kick up at the very last. A proper challenge, and we will find out, presumably, who has put at least one hand on the winner's trophy here. It's going to be special. So the gauntlets have been thrown down, who can stop Evanapol and Roglic? Well, there'll be a few to try and halt their progress, you can be sure. Tune in and enjoy.